Hello everyone, today I'll walk you through three possible ways of configuring campus fabric. I'm Kandla Chandi, Technical Marketing Engineer for Campus Products at Brocade Communications. Campus Fabric Phase 1 was introduced in Fast Iron 8040 and Phase 2 is scheduled to be released in upcoming 8050. Campus Fabric Phase 2 introduces ICX 7250 with PE functionality, high availability and feature parity with stacking. Campus Fabric has two main components, the control bridge or the CB unit and the port extender or the PE unit. As a part of illustration, top network segment is a stack of four ICX 7750s with control bridge or 802.1BR mode enabled. We configure SPX or fabric ports on control bridge and have PE units hanging off from them in a PE chain. PE units have 802.1BR running in between the units. Following are three possible ways of configuring campus fabric, the manual setup, the interactive setup and the zero touch provisioning or ZTP. We will begin with the manual setup to form an SPX frame that accounts for a high availability feature released in campus fabric phase 2. In SPX frame, we create redundant links to the CB units. They could either be connected from a CB unit to the HPE or between two HPEs of two separate PE chains. In this illustration, we will configure port 3137 and 4137 as SPX port. Next, I'll show you how to configure the CLI for both CB unit and the PE unit. I'll show you how to configure the CB unit. We'll begin by entering the configuration mode. And next thing we'll do is we'll, con we'll enable the co control bridge functionality by using the command SPX CB enable. Now as you can see there's a line statement that says system is now in 802.1BR or the control bridge mode. Next we go and use our commands SPX CB configure to enter the CB configuration mode. Under this we will configure our two ports 3137 and port 4137 that I showed you in the topology that that have PE chains hanging off from them. Next I'll save my configuration. Now I'll jump on to a PE unit and show you how to, to configure the PE mode on a PE candidate switch. So we'll begin by entering the configuration mode. Next thing we'll do is we'll enable PE functionality by using the command SPX PE enable. Then we will save our config by using the command write memory. Then next we will reload our switch. Repeat these three steps that is enable the PE functionality by using the command SPX PE enable. Second, save your config by using the command write mem and third, reload your, your switch for the switch to come up with PE functionality. Uh, the thing to be taken care of is that please don't forget to save your configuration. If you don't, then your box will not boot up with the PE functionality. It would boot up as a regular switch since you did not save your, uh, save your config after using the command SPX PE enable. So now all my switches are up and running. So I'll use the command show SPX to check out the output of my topology. So as you can see, uh, my CB port 3137 with unit ID 17, 18, 24 and 23 and my last CB port 4137. So basically this is forming a ring from 3137 until 4137. Next, I'll do the uh, command show SPX ring all to check my ring status. And as you can see from the command line, my ring status is active with two CB ports 3137 and uh, 4137. Next, let's check the output of command show running configuration include SPX. So this shows us all the SPX units, that is unit number 17, 18, 23, 24, and also shows us how we enabled SPX CB enable 
to enable our 802.1 BR mode on our control bridge unit and then how we entered the SPXCB configuration mode to configure our two ports 3137 and 4137 as SPX ports. So this is the topology we just came up with as I showed you from the CLI. Uh, as you can see, I'm just showing this topology back again so the output becomes more clear. So this port number 3137 is my 1CB port and then we came up with PEID 17, 18, 24 and 23 and 23 PEID is connecting to my other CB port 4137 thereby we make up a chain between ports 3137, PE 17, PE 18, PE 24, PE 23 and port number 4137. Hopefully this was helpful for you. Thanks for watching it.